Confirmed, page 23, and range rate is increasing. We're about uh, 12 minutes away from docking. It's not a precise time. Uh, the targeted time is 11.20 a.m. Central, 12.20 p.m. Eastern time. Range rate is 0.8. I'm putting in AGC mode. Progress uh, flying very, very nicely on its automated guidance system. Range is 140. Negative 0 decimal 83 is the range rate. Copy three minutes till eclipse. That call, uh, we're about three minutes away from going into an orbital sunset. That is not a constraint to docking. Just over 100 meters separating progress from the Poisk module. You see uh, the docking port on Poisk just range above the crosshairs. 110. The range rate is negative 0 decimal 7. Target is visible. Copy. Sergey, can you verify operation and turn it off for now? Okay, we don't need AGC mode anymore. We are turning off operation. Copy. The station and progress now flying 260 miles over northwestern Visual Kazakhstan. Range is approximately 80 meters. Target is visible. Range is 70, negative 0, 034. 68 uh, meters separating progress from the docking port. Everything uh, continues to go very, very smoothly and has been uh, since the Progress launched atop the Soyuz 2.1A booster three hours and 15 minutes ago. Going to cover. Uh, it's all the same for you, just press COM line 2. Moscow, station on UKV. We hear you loud and clear, yes, I also hear The target is in the center and the tra target crosshairs are aligned. Okay, copy. Stand by for the message for readiness to inaudible. We uh, have passed out of range of our tracking and data relay satellite system for just a couple of minutes here. This view uh, over Russian ground stations of the approach of the progress to the Poisk module, 50 meters now separating progress from Poisk. The video is gone. Okay, copy. Range is approximately 46 meters. Copy. 
Inside 50 meters, closing at a rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second. That will be the velocity of the progress at the time of contact and capture. I see the message is is ready. Copy. Inaudible. The uh, Poisk docking port is now powered on, ready to receive the progress. Once docking occurs, the relative motion of the two vehicles against one another will dampen out. The docking probe will be retracted to bring the docking surfaces flush against one another initiating the closing of the hooks to form a hard mate between Progress and the International Space Station. Two minutes till eclipse. Little bit to the left. Okay, copy standing by. Range is 30, range rate is negative zero, zero, 009. Copy, you're going to proceed. Inside 30 meters I'm now. I'm putting in the Uvod Razrishon command. Breakout in name. The uh, center of this engineering crosshair view should align itself with the diamond-shaped object just underneath the docking port. That basically is a docking target that is used for navigational precision on the final several meters of approach. Copy, and let's proceed to page 24. That was 15 meters. Target is a little lower than center. Copy. Ready, calm. Let's continue automatic docking and final approach. The uh, docking target uh, clearly in view, almost at the center of the crosshairs, inside 20 meters. Closing at a rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second. Target crosshairs are aligned. Alignment of target center and center of video monitor. Copy. About six meters, about five meters, half a square lower than the crosshairs. The target is half a square lower. Ready, calm. Copy. Progress almost home. Standing by for contact and capture. 
Rangers 3. After contact, ready, calm. Okay, standing by for contact. About half a meter. Contact. Contact. And capture confirmed. Docking confirmed. At 11.19 a.m. Central Time, 12.19 a.m. Eastern Time, as the International Space Station flew 260 miles over China.